Rivers. So we're in South Carolina and we're about 10 miles, 20 miles away from uh, I-26. Um, of course, we're gonna be going uh, what I call north on 26, but 26 is east and west. So I guess we're gonna be going west, uh, probably more northwest, but uh, traffic in South Carolina on 95 is atrocious as usual, uh, but no bad weather, so that's a good thing. Um, I'm averaging about 63, 64 miles an hour with 11.3 miles to the gallon, so uh, not really too bad in the gas mileage. I'm actually pretty happy with that. Travel, the trailer's handling real good. All right, next time there's an update, I'll let you know. Okay guys, so we're in, um, so South Carolina heading towards um, Columbia and starting to get into some pretty hilly uh, roads and I just wanted to let you know how well the the trucks doing the truck is doing great um, the brake controller is working beautiful and um, she's pulled you know, the only bad thing about our travel style is that it forces us to travel on the weekends which puts us out here with all the rest of the weekend warriors and we're kind of professionals at this in the rain and it's a doozy of a storm looking a bit uh, crazy up in here um, there were some reports of hail from what I understand so I haven't seen any hail yet but uh, yeah so very uh, very nice little storm here Officially in North Kakalaki. Dawn says it's funny you said that because she thought that she was the only one who said that. No, the kids did that when they when we first moved here. We were coming up in the um, in the U-Haul, and they were like, "Dad, we're gonna call this North Kakalaki." I'm like, "All right."
Hey, good morning YouTubers and RV fans. So I wanted to go ahead and tie out this video and give you a little look-see of where we're at. We arrived in Asheville, North Carolina last night, probably about 9 p.m. My traveling partners wanted to just push through, which was a good idea. We were having good weather, the traffic had lightened up quite a bit after we passed Columbia, and we just thought it was better just to go ahead and get here. So, uh, and we did catch a tailwind, which helped us a little bit, but then when we were starting to head up the mountain, we got actually a a uh, headwind which kind of slowed us down a little bit but it was okay my gas mileage actually dropped from 11.4 miles to the gallon to 10.3 going up the mountain but here's the deal the truck did amazing going up the mountain I had so much power that I was it's unbelievable for this v6 f-150 but um, my uh, rpms never really got above um, 3200 3300 maybe 3500 um, I could have plowed through easily but I was following Mike and Dawn and there they have a, a 40 foot uh, diesel pusher which was struggling a little bit to get up the mountain but you know they were even maintaining a speed of about 40 miles an hour so we did well we got up the mountain no issues uh, we arrived here so let me show you this place okay so we're staying off of a country road here in the Pisgah National Forest um, really is quite pretty and it's a very small Little, little RV park, little country RV park, which is very nice. You got the beautiful mountains right here. Absolutely lovely. Lovely. As you can see, it's a very small RV park. And that's perfectly fine for me. I'll be here for a month. And uh, let me just take you down here and show you a little bit about the signs. There you go. All right, guys. So that'll tie out this video. Thanks so much for hanging out with us today and yesterday. It's very nice to have had the mission accomplished. And uh, onwards, we'll figure out what our next adventure is going to be. And I'll let you know. Have a great day.